William, you know what I love about hanging baskets? What's that? Is that it tells me spring is here. Well, hang around. We've got more spring stories for you next on Garden Time. Welcome to Garden Time and welcome to spring. And you know, and spring means that it's ladies' night at French Prairie Gardens. And later on in the show, I'm going to be talking to Stacy about this wonderful annual event and how you can come out and see Judy and I and how you can save 20%. Also coming up in the show today, we'll share with you some basic tools for beginners and for the experts. But coming up first, what do you do with frozen cracked pots? I'm at Little Baja in Burnside with Jared. And Jared, you know, this has been a tremendous winter. Oh and so we've seen some problems with pottery. So can you explain about what happened? You're right. We think we've all kind of learned how important it is to have good drainage. Mm. And, you know, a quality pot, of course, too. But it, it's that drainage. When water builds up, freezes, and expands, it can do significant damage. And it just pops, pops the pot. Exactly right. Uh, and so what can we do to prevent that next year? It's simple. We just need to get it up off the floor. You'll get airflow under there, and it'll be draining really good. So that'll give you a good, healthy root system. And uh, you can use one of these. That ah, gets it up off the floor. It's kind sure, of a low-profile uh, right. version. They oh, that's perfect. come in different sizes, too. Or some pot feet, oh, those you know, are cute. three of those, and that'll get it up. Yeah, and then what about picking out pottery? You guys have a great selection right. here, and really there's um, in all quality pots, but tell people about what, what all that means. Sure, well, you know, we've been working hand in hand with the, the same makers for over 30 years now. Wow. And so we really have a, a relationship where we, we know what materials are going into the clay. We know that they're coming out fired and, and just good quality. And you can tell just by knocking on it, you're going to hear it resonate like a bell. Like, wow, that must be a good pot. <laughs> and I see you're getting some new shipments in. So really, you're chock full of pottery for We're the new going season. Big, yeah, for sure. So is a sealer good for concrete and terracotta? Well, you know, sure. Uh, it's, it's really a case-by-case -case basis. Now, feel free to come down. We'll really walk you through your options and help you decide what would be right. Well, you have to come down to Little Baja. They have so many beautiful pottery, all different colors and shapes and sizes. Plus, they got these great chimeneas for these kind of chilly yeah. mornings. Well, thank you so much. Have Anytime. a great season. Thank you. Thank you. We have a great spring kindergarten segment for you. We went out and picked these daffodils from the garden and put them in food coloring and got these great colors. It's really easy to do. We picked these flowers that were fully open and this one over here was just almost open. And so you want to pick them as fresh as possible from the garden or get them from the grocery store or your favorite florist. And what you want to do is you want to use the uh, food coloring that is in the paste form and not the liquid. It really helps to intensify the colors. You put the paste in the water, mix it up and dissolve it, and then put the flowers in. And within 24 hours, you're going to see these beautiful colors in the flowers. Now, one of the really fun things about this is not only because it changes the, the actual colors on the flowers, but it's a great way to teach kids about the science of nature because once the water starts going up through the stem, you can really clearly see where the majority of water ends up around the edges here because of the color of the dye or the food coloring. So that really gives us a chance to teach children about science and of, of nature and how it works, but also do something fun in the process. And remember, the longer you leave the flowers in the food coloring, the darker the color gets in the flowers. This is a great way for kids and adults to have some fun with nature. Garden Time is brought to you by Portland Nursery, a passion for plants, a nursery for plant people. Hi, I'm Sarah from Portland Nursery, where spring is our favorite time of year. It's the time to prepare your garden for planting. We invite you to get a jump on spring with our huge selection. Let Portland Nursery's staff of professionals help with groceries you can grow. We've got the seeds, veggie starts, and expertise to ensure your success. Visit PortlandNursery.com for a list of classes and special events. Portland Nursery, helping make your backyard your favorite destination at 50th and Stark and 90th and Division. For over 100 years, Collier Arborcare and Bartlett Tree Experts have provided tree and shrub care services to the Portland metropolitan area. From large tree and small shrub pruning, tree removal and stump grinding, we can handle all your tree care needs. 
our arborists diagnose and treat your toughest insect and disease problems. We also have organic solutions for growing and maintaining healthy gardens, as well as organic nutrition for your trees and shrubs. Collier and Bartlett, environmentally friendly since 1907. Millions of tulip bulbs transform the Iverson Farm into one of Oregon's most beautiful events. The family invites you to the Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival. Explore our tulip fields and market, kids' activities, and great food and wine. The Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival, open daily 9 to 6, now through April 30th. Since 1982, the wall has been making local gardens beautiful, naturally. Whether you need a new wall, concrete patio, fire pit, or driveway, the wall's expert craftsmen can build it. We back up our work with a five-year warranty so you'll know it'll last. We use the highest quality materials including stamped colored concrete, natural stone, and we're the leader in using recycled concrete. Create an outdoor environment you'll enjoy for years with the help of your friends at The Wall. Kick off the spring right at the annual Ladies Night at French Prairie Gardens. Enjoy local craft brews, cider, and baked treats as you learn about new plants for the coming year. Join us for a basket planting party. Experience the best the country has to offer at French Prairie Gardens. At Garland Nursery, you'll find... Top quality plants. Four generations of garden know-how. Fun and fantastic garden decor. And the best in garden supplies. Come visit us at Garland Nursery. Since 1937, inspiring beautiful and bountiful gardens. So I'm at French Prairie Gardens and I'm here with Stacy. And you know, every year, Stacy, we have this great event that we come to and it's called the Ladies Night. Oh, and it's yeah. happening again, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. So we start out with our Create Your Own Hanging Basket class around three o'clock and then it runs all the way until seven. And we have a Gardening in the Shade class with Mark from Little Prince. Who's, who's great at that? Oh, class. yes, yes, <laughs> love it. And then we do our spring plant show and tell. So we take her on all of our brand new varieties and kind of show you what's new at French Prairie. And Cody from Youngblood is going to show us what we're going to be carrying from there yeah. from all their great shrubs. So you're really going to get, it, it's not only just a great fun event, you're also going to get some wonderful information going into spring and summer and plants and things. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. All sorts of fun things to kick spring off. And then we also of course have our Tasty Bites so you can get something to eat. And then we have um, beer and wine and so it's a lot, it's a lot of fun. And you know, the, the Tasty Bites actually come from your own scratch bakery right here. Oh yeah, yeah, everything's made farm fresh and they're available all evening long. And then including our scratch bakery, we have donuts and breads and pies, so it's it's very good. All of which are absolutely delicious, I yes. might say. And you're actually open now though, people can come in and shop. We are, we're open Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to four, and then in April we open up on Sunday and Tuesday, and then we're always closed on Monday. And I hear, I, I, a bird told me that you have like six taps going now. For yes, we have six taps. We have one cider on and four different beers. And so there's lots of different things to choose from, local brews. And how are people supposed to get involved? Do they need to sign up? What, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, you can RCP uh, on our Facebook page or you can email us real easy. Just give us a call and we'll get you signed up and then you get 20% off to use that evening. Nice. It'll even go towards your Create Your Own Basket class and it's a lot of fun. And one of the things that I love about this event is it really is, I mean, it's always here undercover. So regardless of the weather, you're doing it. Oh yeah, definitely. And it's a great, it's a great time to be able to come out and enjoy and kind of get a taste of spring, even if it's a little yucky outside. Wonderful. So, you know, for, for more information on this wonderful, every year this happens, it is a wonderful event. Go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website or you can go to their Facebook page and sign up. Stacy, always a delight, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, William. For our tip of the week, we're at Portland Nursery on Stark Street. You know it's springtime and we're out in our gardens spraying products. And you know there's a very safe way to do that. It's called the label is the law. And on the back of every product there is labels that will tell you specifically how to use this product safely and to its best ability. Whether it's organic or it's synthetic, you want to make sure that you read the instructions and that you follow it to get the best success out of that product. Because remember, a lot of time and effort have gone into making sure that these labels are both legal and accurate. 
So our tip of the week is all about learning how to read a label so you can apply it appropriately. Garden Time is brought to you by Capital Subaru, your way on the parkway. It's Subaru season. At Capital Subaru, we help you get the most out of winter with two years complimentary service on all new Subarus, 24-7 online inventory, cozy waiting room with perks, and personalized service that's earned us the Subaru Stellar Care Award four years in a row. You can take on your next adventure with peace of mind. Hurry in now to the Subaru A Lot to Love event at Capital and lease the dependable and fuel-efficient new 2017 Subaru Legacy 2.5i Premium, just $169 per month. Capital Subaru, your way on the parkway. Over the 30 years that our family has been in the nursery industry, we've learned that anyone can supply a customer with plants and garden supplies. But it's supplying those plants and supplies backed by a knowledgeable staff that can transform a garden and take it from ordinary to extraordinary. That's what we do at Sagawa Nursery. Why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? Sagawa Nursery, growing beyond the ordinary. Come to the 15th annual Garden Palooza April 1st at Fur Point Farms. See over 40 plant growers and garden vendors. Free parking and free admission. Enter to win a bistro set or $1,000 of visual scaping. Garden Palooza Saturday, April 1st at Fur Point Farms in Aurora. Come to where the color is. Come to Egan Gardens. We've worked hard growing healthy plants for you so that your gardening is easy. Add sparkle to your garden with our perennials, container plants, and skillfully designed baskets and planters. Check out our early blooming perennials. You want this color in your garden. Creeping phlox, candy tuft, and lots more. Egan Gardens, where it's all about the plants. We're located west of I-5 at exit 263 on River Road. Since 1926, the Bonite Company has worked with homeowners to make their homes and gardens beautiful. If you have a garden problem, Bonide has the answer. Ants are on the move and they're taking over your home. Time to take revenge. Bonide's revenge ant control products are the solution to your ant problems. Eliminate the entire colony, even the queen. Visit Bonide.com to find a local retailer and to download your free Bonide Problem Solver app for your iPhone or Droid. Your garden begins here at our local farm. My grandfather and father have nurtured plants here for 70 years. We breed Northwest hardiness into every bloom, and we take as much pride in your garden as you do. So when you're ready to turn your empty space into something beautiful, we're here to help by sharing what we know, inspiring your vision, crafting plants that meet your high standards. The best gardens begin and continue to grow at Owl's Garden and Home in Woodburn, Sherwood, Gresham, and Wilsonville. You know, Judy and I realize that in springtime, we are all thinking about the new plants that we're gonna get and working out in our garden. So we wanted to take a few moments to remind you about the very importance of tools in the garden and the different types that you can use. You know, we're not just talking about tools for the experienced garden and the large garden. We're talking about people that are new to gardening and the small space that you might have right outside your door, or you might have a new big garden. So we have divided them into three different categories. We have cutting, cultivation and digging. So let's jump right into the cutting tools. You know, I don't know any gardener throughout my entire life who has not wanted a great pair of hand pruners. Now these are Felcos. They are not the least expensive pruners you can buy, but there's reasons for that. They're very well made and they're very sharp and they're very clean. However, one of the best parts is all of these things that make it work well, if they break, you can just go and replace them. You don't have to get a whole new pair of pruners. Another great thing is they have several sizes. They have pruners for large hands. They have pruners for smaller hands. They have left and right different type pruners. And they even have er ergonomically correct <laughs> handles, which I think is very clever. Then you might also want to think about a basic pruner if you have a larger, a larger garden about actually having some extensions. These come in various different lengths as well, but the great thing about them is if you're smaller and you have a seven foot tall tree, all you have to do is use these and then you can get up and get those errant limbs that we all have on plants in our garden. 
and you know sometimes the loppers just won't work and you need a little hand saw. This is a great little compact one. It has really nice sharp teeth um, and it has a nice grip on it and you can get in there and take out those little bit bigger limbs that are giving you a problem. Also, for larger gardens, if you have hedges and you don't want to use an electric hedger, these are hand shears. Really nice long blade, a nice long handle to give you the proper um, position to do that, and you can get in there and shape all those hedges. I think you can also use these really when you want to trim back those um, ornamental grasses. You need to take down all the old foliage at the beginning of the spring, and I think these would really help clean them up. Now the next level down we're going to talk about is cultivation. Cultivation is important on a lot of different levels and there's many different tools with which can assist you to do that. Now these kind of tools are just like, they, they're called tongs, they're called prongs, they're called all kinds of things, but what they have are these little short ties here and you can see they're kind of sharpened and they come in two, three, four, four different sizes, but they're really great because you can go into small areas under plants and do some tilling. You can use them in larger areas. So they're really great for a, a beginning tool to learn how to get in mm -hmm. and work around your plants. Another one that I really like, and there's several different types of these kind also, are the ones that have the tongs. So they do for the weeding, the cultivation, all of that. But then if you flip them over, you've got a great little tool that goes in and also does weeding and breaking up of soil, but then you can use it to actually make rows in a garden to plant seeds or even bulbs. And then if you do have a larger garden, you're going to want to have a hoe. This one is called a hula hoe, and it really is like two cultivators in one. You can use it to take out weeds. It actually has like a wiggle kind of motion there, and there's a blade on it that will take out the weeds. But there's a smooth edge, too, that won't damage any of your existing plants. There's also hoes with a flat, solid blade on it that you could use to make furrows in it. You're going to be planting a lot of vegetables or a row of shrubs, and you can make a whole trench with them. I love the long handle too. It's easier on your back. Another tool to have is a rake. Um, this is a really nice one, nice heavy duty bow rake. You use it to kind of smooth out the soil. Um, you can even rough it up if you're going to be putting lawn seed down or um, you also can use it um, on the back side to flatten out your soil to get it all nice and smooth. A heavy duty fork like this is really good to do, use for cultivating and for digging. For the cultivating, you're going to be digging in and just taking up the first couple inches of the soil. Really helps with that with the separated tongs um, and tines. And then you could also use a little bit more force in it and really get down in there and break up that soil for some big, big um, work that you'd be doing. And speaking of digging, <laughs> that actually is our last level here, the digging part. And there's a lot of digging in a garden. So one of the things I suspect every one of us really likes and should have is a hand trowel. Now that's pretty just much fancy words for a hand shovel, but that's what it is. It's a little bit elongated and it can do a, a great amount of different types of jewels in the soil. So whether you're doing them in a pottery or out in your garden, you need really to look into having a hand trowel. Of course, in larger gardens, we're always going to need a true garden spade. Now, they, there's a lot of different names, and generally they have different meanings, whether it's spade or shovel. Mm -hmm. they, they have specific meanings, but most of them, like this, are what we call a shovel in the garden. The wonderful thing you can pay attention to nowadays is the amount of different sizes. Some of them have really long handles for deeper digging. Some of them are larger, smaller, a whole lot of different options. But whatever you choose, be sure that you get one well-made shovel for your garden. And you know, William, I think one of the really basic tools and great tools to have is a pair of gloves. <laughs> True. Make sure you use them. It's not just to keep your hands cleaned. It really is to keep your hands safe from maybe possibly getting them cut. Really great thing to have. And let's never forget that whether you are a brand new garden or if you are an experienced garden, we all need to pay attention to the tools we use in the garden. You know, take a stop over to your local independent garden center. They're there for all those questions. Have them explain um, what the tools that they have and tell them what your needs are. They're really going to help you out. Welcome to Blooming Junction, where it's easy to connect with nature. At Blooming Junction, you'll find beautiful, healthy plants, good, fresh food, and a place to regain peace and calm in your life. We have an unsurpassed collection of unique and distinctive plants and the expertise to help any gardener be successful. And we feature Blooming Advantage plants. Come check out Blooming Junction for an inspiring experience in the garden or in the kitchen.
Blooming Junction, offering quality plants for beautiful gardens. It's spring clearance time at Standard TV and Appliance. Save up to 88% on closeouts, overstocks, floor models, and special purchases in every category at Standard, including washers and dryers, ranges, wall ovens, and cooktops, top brand dishwashers, side-by-side -side and French door refrigerators, mattresses, and the best HDTV brands. Plus, right now at Standard, save up to 76% on display and discontinued pro-style products. Hurry, they won't last long. Standard TV and Appliance. Millions of tulip bulbs transform the Iverson Farm into one of Oregon's most beautiful events. The family invites you to the Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival. Explore our tulip fields and market, kids' activities, and great food and wine. The Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival, open daily 9 to 6, now through April 30th. Why have a yard that looks like everyone else? French Prairie Perennials can give you something different by using our unique form of landscape design, visualscaping. We can give you a landscape as unique as you are. Focusing on year-round color and low maintenance allows you to relax and enjoy your yard all 12 months. On-site plant demonstrations allow you to see how beautiful your garden will look before you buy. Give us a call or stop by our retail location on weekends. French Prairie Perennials. Your garden is only as good as the ingredients you use. That's where Black Gold can help. Black Gold Seedling Mix is formulated for successful seed germination and strong seedling growth. Black Gold Seedling Mix is organic and OMRI listed, so you can start this year's organic garden outright. Look for Black Gold at your local garden center or go online to blackgold.bz. Black Gold, all the riches of the earth. Create a beautiful living space both inside and out with the help of Terracasa. Outside, you'll find pottery, fountains, and decor to make your garden unforgettable. And inside, there are home furnishings and just the right accents to make your home warm, inviting, and most importantly, comfortable. Terracasa has a huge selection of merchandise to fit any home or budget. Plus, we still have all the unique and distinctive gifts that you have come to expect from Terracasa. Terracasa in downtown Damascus. We all love to eat cane fruit and small berries in the summertime. Well, now is the time to be planting them. I'm at Portland Nursery on Stark Street at Ken, and so Ken, really, this is the time to plant, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. You've got the best selection that you're going to you find really all do. year. You really do. It's really do. So, what do you want to talk about? Uh, I thought we'd go over the cane fruits. Uh, a, lot of, okay. a lot of people have confusion about caring for their brambles. Um, I think the raspberries are the, the easy, easiest place to start. And the tastiest. Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, they're pretty stiff, self-supporting. About all you need to do uh, when they're in full production and the fruit is getting heavy is just keep the fruit from dragging the ground. So the trellising is pretty simple. All the brambles, the raspberries, the blackberries have a two-year cane cycle. The roots are forever, Okay. Um, but the canes live for two years. And the first year, they grow. The second year, they make their fruit. And then as soon as the fruiting is done, you get rid of them and new ones are coming. How easy. Yeah, that very makes simple. a lot of sense. Yeah. So uh, the first year canes, the primo canes, are going to emerge uh, and they're going to be really ramrod straight unless for some reason the tip is damaged. And uh, so pretty easy if you're doing your winter pruning or if you miss some of the ones uh, that are fruited, which are going to have these really evident side branches on them. Okay. Uh, so as soon as those have had a chance to, uh, to branch out and flower and fruit, those are done take them okay. all the way to the ground and I mean right to the dirt uh, it helps to uh, keep it's some of the disease clean. issues yeah, yeah okay so just a little bit of tips there and yeah. so you also have some other berries for us what's this one yeah the, the the blackberries are a little different and we sell two different kinds of blackberries we have eastern blackberries like this one and we sell western blackberries like this Marion berry here and the first thing you can notice looking at the two is that uh, these are rather stout and our, our native uh, Marians and uh, Logans and, and Boisens are a lot flimsier, so they need a much uh, stiffer kind of a support and trellis system. Um, other than that, this system is, is pretty much the same. The canes grow up the first year, and you'll just have to have some sort of way to, to keep the two apart, okay. mm -hmm. um, especially with the Marians, which can get really interconnected, and those little thorns kind of lock them together. Um, what I'll typically do is, uh, grow stuff sort of low the first year, either on a low wire or on the ground. And then uh, in the winter time, I'll, I'll gather them all together and take them up a post to a higher wire. And uh, that way I've got a kind of nice clean place at easy picking level mm. to harvest my fruit from. 
and uh, you have a place to attach uh, the new canes as they start to emerge in the spring. Okay, that sounds good. Sounds like a lot of good fruit production that way too. Definitely. And what about grapes? Because they're a little bit different. Grapes are different, yeah. I mean, uh, you don't have the two-year cycle. Um, but you have a, a, a stout plant, which portions of which are going to be forever, you know, mm -hmm. like a trunk and possibly some arms. But uh, the, the main thing is that you're, you're going to have to invest a little bit more time in getting the whole process started. So you might come into a nursery center, see a nice, well-grown young plant like this, and uh, that tells you probably with all this cane action going on, there's probably a pretty nice root system there. And then you're going to take a pruner and you're going to take the whole thing back at dormancy oh. to Looks just good. a couple of buds. And I'm going to work with this nice, stiff, central cane here. Okay. And I'm going to go back up here maybe to just one, two buds, take all the rest off. And what we're doing here is we're allowing this nice strong root system to put energy into only a few leaves. So it can get those leaves to size quickly. The leaves then are the little solar cells for the plant and uh, they're gonna make energy and start to, to surge upward. Now, the first year I'm not gonna worry at all about training. All we're trying to do is, uh, now that this thing has come out, is, is make a bigger root system even than we started with. So uh, just position things in a way that allows them to gather light. If you want them to just sprawl into a mound on the ground, that's perfectly fine. But we're not gonna do any training the first year. Now, this is what's really gonna be the basis for the growth in the next few years, all, all the years. Absolutely. Uh, from this point, we, we sort of diverge into two different pruning methods, one of which keeps permanent arms and one that doesn't. Mm -hmm. So this is probably a good time to come in and get some one-on-one <laughs> -on -one conversation and we can lead you through the steps for, for good productive uh, pruning. Ah, that is true. But the main thing to take away is to come out to Portland Nursery on Division and Stark and really get the plants that you want to be eating all the next couple of years and definitely the summer in the ground now. And you can talk to Ken and his staff and you can find out all that information to, so that you're successful in all the years to come. Thanks so much. Ken. Thanks, Judy. Thank you for watching today. And don't forget about Ladies' Night Out at French Prairie Gardens next Thursday. Go to their Facebook page and sign up, and you get 20% off at the event. And Garden Palooza is just one week away. French Prairie Gardens is going to be one of the over 40 vendors that will be there this year. For more information on Garden Palooza, you can always go to gardenpalooza.com. Well, we thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next week at Garden Palooza. Kick off the spring right at the annual Ladies' Night at French Prairie Gardens. Enjoy local craft brews, cider, and bake treats as you learn about new plants for the coming year. Join us for a basket planting party. Experience the best the country has to offer at French Prairie Gardens. Come to the 15th annual Garden Palooza April 1st at Fur Point Farms. See over 40 plant growers and garden vendors. Free parking and free admission. Enter to win a bistro set or $1,000 of visual scaping. Garden Palooza Saturday, April 1st at Fur Point Farms in Aurora. The proceeding was a paid program of the Gustin Creative Group and its sponsors.